It happens in the sky every 400 years, and something like it may have happened 2,020 years ago at Christmas. Yeah, you can say this is a very rare event happening now. Fox 13's Brian Champagne checks in from Cache Valley with the rare event you can see for yourself. This is an event that happens every 400 years, but 400 years ago, it wasn't that great. This year, the timing is remarkable, but it's also crucial. Del Vance is getting his backyard observatory set up ahead of time for tonight's event. You don't have much time to get it all focused and ready to go. If you can't get it up and running in a matter of a few minutes, you'll miss it. He shot Jupiter and Saturn near each other before, but this one's different. It's what they call a conjunction, a grand conjunction, because they're so close. The last time it happened was 1623 at which time it, was, it happened during the daytime for most of the people that were watch, trying to watch it. James Coburn is getting the 20-inch telescope focused inside the 16-foot Utah State University Observatory well, dome. Galileo had looked at Jupiter with a telescope, but there's no recorded evidence that anyone looked at it with a telescope at that time. And so this would be the first chance that people have had to look at a telescope when Jupiter and Saturn are so close together. He's getting his look through the rare lineup of the planets with the shortest day of the year with a mostly clear night. They call it a Christmas star. For astronomers, this is a big deal. This is almost as much fun as having an eclipse. There's ideas that perhaps a bright star, you know, this Christmas star could have been a conjunction of planets. It may have been Venus and Jupiter. Astronomers say stay back from western mountains and look in the southwest sky. Jupiter's the brightest star-looking object. You know, it's a planet, of course, but you just can't miss it. Both guys say binoculars should work just great for your view. Me, I'll be trying out the long lens on my camera. In Cache Valley, Brian Champagne, Fox 13 News, Utah.